All right, in this video, this is a quick update to the custom apps as of May 2021. What we have now is the addition of global folders. Ultimately, it's a way for you to organize your different types of globals, or you can organize them into whatever fashion you want using these global folders. Here I am inside of the advanced editor, I have a shape, and then if I head over to globals, I have nothing inside of here. And then for our traditional method, we always come up here and let's suppose we wanna add a color global. I'm gonna call it C1. And if I press OK on that, I'm going to go ahead and pick a color. And I'm picking this blue here, and this is another update as well to the custom apps, is this new color picker. So applying that color, now we can apply this the same way we always have, but suppose you have a whole bunch of color globals, and suppose you have a whole bunch of list globals, and a bunch of number globals, and a bunch of font globals. Instead of keeping them all in one long list, you can organize them into folders. I do not recommend nesting these folders, but let me show you how to add one. I'm gonna go to plus, and for the type, we have this new option called folder. And suppose you have a bunch of colors, so I'm gonna call this folder colors, and if I press okay, we now have this folder here. Now what you cannot do is you cannot copy and paste this C1 into this folder. The path to these globals is important when it goes to coding it, when you do your functions and all that stuff. But let me jump into this folder and what we can do, should you wish to do so, is you can now use the same global names. C1, same name, I'm going to give this one a different color. And what I want you to notice here is that we have a C1 that is red and that sits inside of this global folder that I've called colors. And then we have C1 sitting directly in globals that is blue. Let's see how to access these two different color globals. And you may say, well, aren't they the same? No, it works just like your computer. You can name a file the same thing, and if you have it in two different folders, the path to that particular file, even though the file is the same name, since they are in different folders, that's totally fine. So let's head to that shape, head to the paint, the quick way to automatically apply these is to just use the global icon and notice we have two options. The C1 is going to be the blue which sits directly in the globals menu and then this colors forward slash C1 is the red one that sits within that folder. Now if we do the code way or the function way, I'm just going to come up here and tap my calculator icon. We can always access our globals the same way. We do GV. And if I just want to access that C1 that sits directly in the globals menu, we should see that blue now, which we do. How do we access that red one that sits in the folder? Let's put that folder path in front. And now we should have our red. Now again, I do not recommend nesting these. Um, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't, but uh, I experimented with it with the coding and the paths are a little bit different there. So really what it boils down to, more than likely you'll be using this to organize your colors, your text, your list, etc. And again, ultimately it just keeps you from having to scroll for what seems like hours to find a particular global. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The new global folders update as of May, 2021. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.